The importance of the state's medical device industry is front and center this week. The city of Plymouth and Governor Dayton have both proclaimed it MedTech Week. That's as thousands gather in the state for a MedTech conference. In this week's Business Matters, Plymouth knows the impact of MedTech companies as another global company moves into the city. As Smith's Medical moves into its world headquarters in Plymouth, the company's move from Arden Hills is significant because it brings 500 employees to Plymouth. When the move is complete early next year, Smith Medical joins a growing number of medtech companies that call Plymouth home. We're proud to say we have over 130 medtech and medtech supporting companies here in Plymouth. Plymouth has become a hub for medical technology companies. From St. Jude Medical's research and development facility to Covidian and smaller companies such as Intellis and Urologix. Overall, 4,600 medtech jobs are located in Plymouth. The impact of medtech jobs on Plymouth's economy is significant, especially when you consider that the average medtech job pays around $110,000. When you look at our school district, you look at our award-winning park system, you look at our transit, all of that reflects the needs of our community as well as our housing. We have a lot of executives that live here in town. And I think the communities have been very conducive to early stage companies and then there's of course still land to grow for companies that want to expand or set up headquarters like Smith's Medical. Trade Association Life Science Alley will welcome Plymouth Med Tech companies and others from around the globe to Minneapolis this week for a conference highlighting the industry's future. What's great about this industry is it is clean, high-paying jobs that produce products that save people's lives. Plymouth City officials plan to be at the MedTech conference encouraging an industry they would like to see more of in their city limits. We want our current businesses to grow and prosper. We want to be supportive of those. We want to help new businesses locate here that are startups. And we also want to help other businesses that don't have room to grow where they currently are to come on over to Plymouth. Plymouth has the second lowest tax rate of Minnesota cities with 10,000 or more people.